Okay, so today I wanted to discuss how you can simplify uh, shoulder mobility within a training session and within a program. Um, shoulder mobility itself has become a very watered down topic. There's always a new method, a new exercise, a new drill to help you improve shoulder mobility. Um, at the end of the day, it comes down to what your goals are, uh, what you plan on doing with that shoulder mobility. But most of the time, all these styles and methods can end up making you feeling overwhelmed more than anything and unsure of where you should start. Um, so I would like to present to you um, some methods that I like to use um, when addressing shoulder mobility within a training session or a program, um, which has helped myself and many others find some clarity when it comes to implementing shoulder mobility into a training program. By focusing on the following areas, we will set ourselves up for success when it comes to shoulder mobility. Let's take a look at each. Fundamental bent arm strength. In this category, we use horizontal and vertical pushing and pulling exercises to express as much range of motion as possible in order to improve shoulder mobility. Remember that in order to do so, we should be selecting the right exercise and progression that enables us to do this. Straight arm flexion and extension. Our shoulders have the potential to move beautifully through 360 degrees of movement. The dislocate is the greatest expression of this mobility. Under straight arm flexion and extension, we can choose and use exercises that work towards improving our ability to move in these patterns. Bent arm rotation. Exercises in this category can be used towards improving deficits in our rotator cuff. Thoracic flexibility. By working towards improving our thoracic flexibility, we will greatly increase our chances of improving shoulder mobility. Hanging. Hanging stabilizes the shoulder girdle while also lengthening and mobilizing the muscles in the back, which often are the reason why we have limitations in our shoulder mobility. Now let's take a look at how we can put this all together in a training session. So hopefully um, that information has helped give you some more insight into how you can uh, prepare a training session to focus on improving shoulder mobility. Thanks for watching.